Hey folks, E.T. here coming at you with the next part of our new crash course, which is our stocks page, our individual. We've covered a lot of the market information so far, overall broad things. Now we're getting into our individual ticker dashboards. This is where we start to drill down on more information. So for here, you click the radio button up top, you click stocks, you type in the stock you want. I pulled Tesla up instead of SPY because Tesla has some more information like earnings and things that we can look at as we go along. So this is pretty simple. This is going to give you your time frame of what chart you want to look at here. All right. This is how you choose where you go along. Also, your support resistance levels, you draw them and you can copy them to TradingView. Pretty simple. The guide is out there already on Trady YouTube for how to copy them to TradingView. Greeks, this is where all of us pull our Greeks for our charts that we copy to TradingView. Okay, very simple. I like to click each one individually to pull those gamma levels to see what's going on. If you're on SPY, that's going to do the same thing. Then you give it a sec to go ahead and pull those levels. Now, I want to point out something important here. As you're going along with Greeks and it's not SPY, one important thing to note is what you're looking for if you're looking at Greeks is Greeks that line up with support resistance and dark pools on on the different time frames you're looking at don't just blindly use greeks on individual tickers make sure that you are you are pulling them and taking a look at them when it comes to when it's when it's relevant when where they are in relevance to support resistance levels and dark pools you can draw your dark pools here as well you can also pull those to trading view as you go you can look for event event waps to see what has happened there with those very, very, very simple projections. I don't use nearly as often. This is just saying where it might be going. You can invert your chart. If you, if you, if you, if you are permeable and everything's going down and you want to, you want to have it to look like it's going up, you can hit that invert button. And then all of these different technical indicators you can use as you go, go along as well. No, no, nothing there confusing that you have not seen before. All right, let's keep digging in as we go along. This is your analyst gradings and your previous earnings. Most of these have a very nice little thing explaining them here on the information if you want to dig dig deep further, but these are very self-explanatory as we go, go along. This is volume by price, okay? Pretty simple, so you see volume where volume is being bought or sold and kicking in on different price levels. VBP is pretty, pretty simple to understand right there. So nothing too confusing as we go. Just volume by price. Gives you your financial metrics. Very important to take a look at. And there have a lot of options that have been added over time for you to see how what, what the financial metrics look like there for each individual ticker. Right now we're on Tesla, obviously. You have, and here you have your financial estimates, your revenue increase, and your EPS increase. Very simple. Gives you a nice chart to see how it's going as we go along. All right. Pretty simple. Here's some fun stuff that I really do love. Similar tickers, opposite tickers, high co-integration. One, one thing here is this sort of like pairing trades as you're looking at them. Okay. So what QQQ, you know, if, if Tesla is ripping, QQQ might be as well. You can also pair some things up to see how they look. So let's just type in QQQ and see your, for your price pairs, how that's going there. And then price comparison is fun because you can see here how far, what Tesla price looks like versus QQQ price. So this is going to be your QQQ, obviously. This is going to be your Tesla. So you can see that it's continued to go up while it's gone down. Even though I have high co-integration, Tesla's been in that bearish trend lately. Nothing too confusing here, folks. You can deep dive as far as you want, but you don't have to. You don't have to spend a lot of time going other places to find information on EPS and other things as you go because it's all here. Price comparison is one of my favorites because you can see if something is lagging in a particular area as we go along. All right. So next up, monthly, daily, and hourly seasonality. Bigger the bar, right? The more performance you have in that month. Daily shows you, shows you where on what day you see the most, the most run, right? The, the best price increase. Monday's very, very, very good for Tesla. Tuesday's just okay, as you can see. And then it sort of moves down as we go along later into the week. So let's see how Monday looks with our gap up there. And then the hourly seasonality, this is just through the market day, what parts of the day it does best. 
So obviously right there, we're doing a little bit better. Nothing confusing here. Everything's very simple and easy to, easy to understand as we go along. So next thing we got, we got here is our seasonality and price movement. You can choose different dates, your start dates, your end dates, no problem there. And you can also see what kind of, what, what, what type of seasonality you're looking for daily, where, where it does best on what days you can get down. You can drill down to the minutes or the hours to see how those go as well. Very simple, nothing confusing there. You can see which hours it goes up, which, which hours it does better and which hours it does not as we go along. Last section here, pretty simple. Your insider trades and your news summary. You, your news you can get from just about anywhere, but I would, I would like to say the news that the AI is delivering has been on point lately as we go along, and then you can see all of the insider trades going along as well. I'd still suggest if you're looking for the if you're looking for just some quick information on the ticker read this news if you are looking for some more in-depth news make sure to check out our news section it's just so good so powerful and so much information that is all for now on the stocks ticker dashboard everybody stay safe out there